I love Clara. Um, Clara is Hector's love, Hector's other half, Hector's girlfriend, I suppose, but they've been in this comfy girlfriend, boyfriend thing for a long time. They're the sort of, they have the kind of order that you can only get when you're a childless couple with two incomes, you know, living, two professionals living in a sort of nice streamlined kind of ordered tidy life, you know, doing their own things, having their own pursuits, but somehow they've never made the commitment. They've never got married, they've never decided to have a child and, you know, I think they're just very safe in their coupledom. And I think both of them need to go on a journey, both of them need to be prepared to take risks in life. I think Clara's happy in as far as she understands the word, yeah, I think she's happy in, in things being contained and things being ordered. I think that gives her a sense of security. Uh, which makes her feel comfortable. Uh, but I think if she's pushed to say, is she experiencing exuberant, spontaneous joy, then no, on a daily basis she's not. Um, I think, you know, the film is kind of about a sort of freedom, a sort of inner freedom that brings a happiness, a, a kind of freedom to be really who you are, whatever the cost. Um, and I think both Hector and Clara learn to, to do that, that they can just sort of be silly and sort of break the framework, I suppose, in a way, and that, and that happiness will survive that. I think at the beginning they both feel that their happiness is dependent on order and dependent on routine and dependent on everything functioning brilliantly and then they learn that, that things can be looser. I love the script. I love what uh, Peter's done with the script. I love the way Peter thinks about the film. It's a joyous film. I mean, it's a film exploring what it means to be a human being. And for me, that's what cinema is. It's a way for us to sit in a dark room and share with other human beings what it feels like to be human. And, and, and it's a profoundly human story, and I love that. And I also love telling love stories. I think, you know, in a way, films have steered away from telling just the simple joy of a, of a great love story and, and those are the sort of films I want to watch and those are the kind of films I want to make so it, it's, a, it's a joy to do that. And I've, I did a film with Simon Pegg last year, the one, one that he wrote called The World's End and I think to work with the same actor again it, it, it just gives so much depth to a relationship portrayed on screen because you, you know once you're familiar with each other you feel comfortable around each other and and then you just add another dimension by feeding that into two new characters and it's really exciting. Freedom. I feel that happiness is, is, is about the freedom to really be who you are and, and the freedom to explore life and have no fears, really. I mean, I know fear is, as in the animal kingdom, fear you know, is, is, is useful as, a, as an animal trait, but I think to be with people that you feel at ease with and don't have to feel nervous around and feeling comfortable in your own skin. I mean, I think that's happiness.